All right, you have the mop head and the reservoir. And here are the microfiber pads that come with it. And then here is the handle and the extending pole. The handle where the solution comes down through this pipe. There's an arrow right here on this pole and it goes right into that space where that red tab is poking out and it locks into place. So you can see that the arrow locks right into that little divot. And the handle. Look how easy that is to assemble. It features this grip right here and this is where you activate the spray. You can see right here, it tells you how many ounces of fluid that you that you have. This is incredibly lightweight. You might wonder what this is for. It is a measuring cup. You can remove it. You can add this much cleaner. But it says use only household floor cleaner. So don't put Dawn detergent or something like that in there. This is, by the way, is two teaspoons. Also, they say don't use undiluted cleaner, bleach, or wax in the in the reservoir. To remove this, you just pull it up toward the handle, and it's kind of like a water bottle. It unscrews, and then you just you just fill this to this line with water. This is good for wood, tile, laminate, and linoleum. This rotates all the way both directions. Oh, and it swivels too. Okay, so that helps you get into tight spots. You can lay this down and get underneath furniture. It comes with three microfiber pads. These are actually really good quality, they're substantial. It has the this texture to help you get scrubbing power and it has these. I don't know if this is probably to hang it. These are thick, well-made pads. It only has Velcro on one side because that's how you put it on. Let's do that. I'm going to slide it in this end first. And then push it into the other end and then attach it with a Velcro. Very attractive. That is my favorite part of the mop. And then when you're done, just remove this and put it in the wash and get it cleaned and reuse.